Yeah, over the past year, it's been it's been really fun, but it's also been really tough. And I saw a clip from the Mind Pump podcast, which is a workout podcast, but they had one of my favorite comedians on there. And he was talking about, you know, they they were interviewing him and one of the guys wanted to know uh, how long it took to see progression in the podcast. And, you know, uh, there's a whole, I mean, the whole podcast was great. The whole episode was great. The Mind Pump with Brian Callen. So go check that out. But I want to play this clip really quick and then I want to dive into to what I want to talk about. This is Brian Callen on the Mind Pump podcast. How fast did the podcast get traction? Do you remember your downloads and things like it that? It took like- a long time. It's a progression. Yeah. It takes time. But, you you know, one of the things I notice about really successful people like Rogan uh, is that, you know, Joe Joe will tell you, it's not that he works hard. He's just really consistent. Yeah. If you're going to, if, if, if you, if he starts something, he's going to, like, say he starts a martial art. He's just never going to stop. He's going to show up every single day. It doesn't matter whether he feels like it or not. He just shows up. Listening to that podcast with him on there and him saying that, I mean, it really like put things into perspective for me. I got to say, man, it's, it's hard, you know, it's really hard being a podcaster or just, just a content creator in general, you know, like when you're putting yourself out there so much, like I really, I really put myself out there a lot on this podcast. I, you know, I, I have people on here that are sm- uh, smarter than I am, obviously, and I have no problem with that. But it really just shows like how much of a dumbass I am. But that's the thing is, I'm really I'm. People are scared to do that. You know, people people don't want other people to know that they're not educated on things and that they're not smart about certain things. And you know, I'm not afraid to admit it. You know, I'm I, there's a there's so many fucking things that I'm not educated in, and I have no problem learning or have problem have any problems with somebody coming on here and telling me what's up but just the idea of putting content out on the internet is is just scary i'm i'm not making any money on this podcast you know you know the views are where the views are the downloads are where the downloads are i i try not to let that get to me and that was the biggest thing about starting the podcast you know it was it was well who's going to listen to this podcast i mean i I'm just a guy, right? And for him, a famous comedian, to say that it took time, it took effort, you know, we had to be consistent with it. It's gradual. It's not going to fucking happen overnight. Like, even for him to say that, I'm like, okay, you know, if it still took time for him, it just means that it's just going to take time for anybody else. Now, there I'm not I I've kind of let the 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 numbers I've kind of let that go a little bit you know I I've done this enough to where I can see the numbers wherever they're at and just be okay with it like I I just have to because realistically I I didn't start this podcast to be famous you know which I feel like a lot of people that are content creators I really feel like that's the goal you know, like people want to be famous. Like the, that's the the gratification. That's they need that instant validation. Which I'm not gonna lie. When I started the podcast, I needed that, and I'm very thankful for the people who, when I first debuted the podcast, they were fucking sharing it on their stories, fucking telling people about it, leaving reviews, leaving fucking comments on the YouTube videos. Like all those people. If you were one of those people, thank you so much. Like you don't understand the stress <laughs> that comes with putting you know, content out there. I mean, then there's people that like talk shit about people that start podcasts and whether or not the podcast sucks or it doesn't suck. Look, I don't care. I, for a long time I cared, but I don't care about that as much as I used to. Right. Like if you don't like my podcast, that's fine. Yeah. I, if you don't like my podcast, that's fine, but I just don't see a need to go like talk shit about it. And I don't know if that's been the case. I'm sure it has been. And I just don't know about it, but you're never going to please everybody. And I think, yeah, you know, I don't even really, all I wanted to say was like having the podcast, you know, it's stressful. It definitely took a toll on my mental health. Like it really did, you know, 
just trying to be consistent with being creative and funny. It's tough, man. It really is. And I just want people to to know, like, if even if starting a podcast is something you're interested in or starting a YouTube channel where you vlog or you do workout vlogs or you're a musician, you want to do that or you want to talk about fucking anything, dude, you know, just it's so cliche, man. It's so fucking cliche, but just fucking start, you know, like that's all it takes. If you're passionate about it, if you're fucking extremely passionate about it, numbers shouldn't mean a fucking thing to you, you know? They really shouldn't. It's like, I'm not going to put my friend on blast, but, you know, I have a friend who wants to venture out in something that's very popular now, uh, and it involves, you know, I'm not even going to say what it involves. I'm not, because it's going to be too obvious. But I said, why why aren't you doing this enough? You know, why aren't you doing this more? You, if you said you're going to start it, do it more and continue to do it. He's like, well, if I, I'm worried about, you know, the people that I'm worried about the certain amount of views that I'm getting, blah, blah, blah. Dude, it doesn't fucking matter if you're passionate about it. You have to just fucking do it because if you show people that you're passionate about it, they're going to come eventually. They're going to be there. So it's it's just frustrating, dude, because like here, like I'm not saying I do a lot, but I'm saying like I, I'm doing this for me, man. I'm doing this because I want to talk to people. I'm doing this because I want to put content on there. I'm doing this because I want to build a community. I want I want people, I want there to be a group of people that are associated with not just the podcast, but people that can like, you know, meet each other, like whether or not I have a guest on this week and then if I have a guest on next week and all of a sudden they like each other, now they're friends. It's like, it's a fucking snowball effect, a domino effect of friendship. And like, I've met people from listening to all the podcasts that I listen to, you know, from Twitter or Instagram or whatever the fuck it is. That's the effect that I want. I want to build something that people talk about, but... I want I want it to be more of like a down the line five years later they'd be like how these two good friends are like how the, how'd you guys meet and they're like oh we met in a comment section of the juice box podcast I don't know something like that you know something stupid but that's building a community of just cool people that that just want to sit back and laugh and just have a good time right that's what's important to me I don't care I mean look it would be nice it would be really fucking nice. Eventually, obviously, if the podcast went somewhere, sure. You know, it would be nice to make money here and make money there or, you know, get noticed or not get noticed, but, you know, just get a bigger following so that the the podcast, you know, gets all over the place. Like, that would be fucking great, obviously, right? That's what people, you know, kind of want when it comes to putting out content, but... It's tough, dude. That's that's what it comes down to is you have to get past the barrier of of acceptance from everybody, you know? Like you have to get past the barrier of acceptance from everybody, you know, that instant grat- that instant val- validation. You you got to you got to be real with your expectations uh within like, you know, I I I was hoping for certain numbers within the first 6 months of the podcast, but then I remembered. I was like, "Wait, I'm just some guy. I don't I don't have a following. I don't you know, I, I got to prove myself. I got to prove that I'm worth these people's time. So for everybody that's listening, if you're still listening this far, believe me when I tell you that I fucking appreciate you. Like you don't understand what that means to me. You know, it really does. So it's just, you know, I, I really feel for people who are content creators. Like I'm recently getting big into Twitch. So I'll occasionally I'll go I'll go sit in and watch on a, a smaller streamer's fucking stream, you know, just because I I understand, you know, small podcasters that I come across on Twitter or TikTok even, I go listen because I understand, you know, and then you know it's it's such a fucking kick in the balls when I post, you know, a, a clip of the podcast on TikTok and it. I don't know if it's like shadow banning or whatever, but they hardly get any views and it's just, it's a fucking, it really is a kick in the dick because I'm, you know, at the end of the day, I make myself laugh a lot. I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy with myself in that regard. Like 
I know how to not take myself so serious. And I think that a lot of people don't. But when I'm just being a dumbass with myself, like the fucking bar story that I just told, like, that's me having fun, dude. That's just me being happy in the moment. And, you know, that's what I want to project out to people. Don't take your fucking life so seriously. Have fun with yourself. You know, make a, make a fool of yourself every now and then. And I don't know, man. I just think, you know, to end it off, you know, if you want to be a content creator, just fucking do it, man. That's all it takes, dude. It doesn't matter. Like, you know, you just, if you want my, my word, my last and final word, if you want to put out content, the hardest part is starting, you know, the hardest part is getting behind a mic, getting behind a fucking camera and just uploading that first picture, episode, video, whatever the fuck it is. That's the hardest part. Once you do that, you've already done it. You've started. And if you post it publicly, you have to fucking do it. You just have to do it. You have to be a fucking man or woman or unidentified of your word. You have to. And it is tough, man. It's tough. You know, getting sitting here every week, especially when I'm by myself. It's just it's just me, man. It's just me. The recording, the fucking setup, the editing, all of it. But it's all because I want I want to do it, man. I want to do it. And if it's something that you want to do, you're going to fucking do whatever it takes to do it. 